So believe it or not, Apple may actually end up owing you money. And this is something that's a long time coming. I honestly thought something like this may have happened, and I thought it actually may have happened already. But essentially what's going on is, if you remember from 2015 to I guess 2019, there were a set of MacBooks that Apple made. Now I'm surprised this article from PC Mac mentions 2015, because these MacBooks were kind of, I guess, released in 2016, at least the most part. But there were that 2015 12-inch MacBooks, I guess that's kind of what they're referring to. But essentially what happened was, Apple made the these butterfly keyboards. Great name, I like that name a lot. Unfortunately, these specific keyboards were faulting like crazy. They had so many issues within them, and it was honestly probably one of the biggest mistakes Apple has ever made. I was surprised that Apple even, you know, continued to create these things even after so many people complained about them. And when I say so many people, I mean like literally everybody hated them, even people who were pro Apple, like the biggest Apple, you know, pro people. Literally, even they hated them. It was crazy. So essentially what's going on now is that Apple, from a lawsuit, has now agreed to pay $50 million for these specific defected keyboards. So this is a two-part thing. For one, it's interesting because I don't know if you if you bought a used you know MacBook in that case, if you were able to go ahead and kind of you know essentially get your money back or get a refund from that. Apparently, these refunds can be up to three hundred and ninety-five dollars. They start at three hundred dollars though, which is actually pretty insane. So if you actually ended up buying a twenty sixteen or twenty fifteen to twenty nineteen MacBook, you are entitled to three hundred to three hundred and ninety-five dollars, which is actually pretty insane. Now there are a couple of different claims within here. I guess if you, you know, actually repaired your MacBook and then, you know, if it's still defective, different things like that. What was interesting though is that Apple did have a recall and, you know, service repair program for some of these MacBooks already. I remember a ton of people ended up repairing their MacBooks and rightfully so. And even then after repairing them straight from Apple completely for free, by the way, they still were having issues with their MacBook keyboards as well. And that was one of the biggest reasons why I personally never really went through and you know repaired my MacBook or even got any of these MacBooks was because I was afraid of that keyboard. I kept my 2015 MacBook until the M1 MacBook Pro came out in 2020 and I didn't even buy that till 2021. So I think that was a pretty smart move considering I don't have to deal with this kind of stuff anymore. But if you're in this specific you know situation, well then you are entitled for this type of money and they kind of recommend you know keeping an eye out to your email. So if you're you know entitled to this, they'll go ahead and send you out an email and you will you can go ahead and reclaim your specific 300 to 395 dollars for your defective macbook so in terms of that that kind of covers it up if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button help me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i'll have every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then